Welcome back to American Truck Simulator, where I just opened up for my new Peterbilt truck, my red, white and blue. And when I say new, I mean the truck I already done about 4,000 miles in. But it's a new paint job and everything, so that's something. I'm a little disappointed in the nose mirror that I couldn't paint the backside of those, but Apparently you're supposed to or something. I'll figure it out. But my red, white and blue American truck here. That's what we're going for. So now... We're hitting out on the road. to go oh I am getting the fine anyway okay okay I'm gonna live with it uh, no damage and we are going to Santa Cruz coastline mining I deliver a lot of stuff to coastline mining yeah this is my Peterbilt truck I had a small white one, now I have this one, it's slightly bigger, it's not the 370 horsepower, it's the 455, so a little more power and not a 10 speed gearbox, but a 13 speed with retarder, so that's about it. I'm thinking about changing to an 18 speed gearbox without the retarder, but I don't know. I haven't really decided. Can't make up my mind. I kind of like to get some cash in too to pay some of the loans off because the bank owns me at this point. Because I'm in debt to the tune of half a million dollars and that's not good. So I need to work hard to get some of the money back. pay the bank so it doesn't take all my money and interest and loan and everything so. but I do have two other drivers now so that helps a little and these yeah, I'm supposed to need some money. Now, I do still have some braking trouble with this one, but that's what it is. At least I didn't scratch the paint, although I did rub the concrete, but didn't scratch the paint job. It may be damaged to the engine but no scratches in the paint because now I got it painted really nice red white and blue true American truck or something like that I feel with the nose mirrors that one up there might not be as important. So let's try something here. We'll get rid of that one, we'll get rid of those. And we'll just drive like after the red line. We won't know how how long we have. We'll know we need to follow the red line and we'll know the speed limit, but nothing else. Nothing else is going to be known to us. So we can't sit and say, oh, it will be in 10 miles or 15 miles or whatever. Nope. 
we won't know. We'll get there when we get there. And we're going to Santa Cruz, so... That's, that's an experiment for you. Not knowing. How do you like that? Is here tight. We did it, no problem. And round the corner to this bit here. That's the bit of road we're going on to now. Oh, so you wanted to go around me, okay? Cheater. Cheater. Mm. Well, he was so. Some more diesel. We were halfway through our consumption. Got it. There's really not enough room for us to do that maneuver, but we did it. <laughs> if it doesn't work, just hit the power. If it doesn't move, more power. And if that doesn't work, try some more power. I think that was what we did right there. We went for power. That's how you solve problems. If power is not enough, then do more power. Or something like that. So we're cruising around here. in these cities. I would like to get out where I could actually put on some more speed. But nope. We're here to go slow. <laughs> I'm 
so we'll go. Pick up the power. You got the horsepower, so... Maybe not the gearbox, but the horsepower is there. So... It should be good. Really good. Fresh no business, okay. This is a little strange not knowing when the delivery is and when we'll be there. Running without knowing, that's kinda unusual. But also a little interesting. Just having to follow the road and we'll see. When we get there, we get there. I don't know if there's 10 miles or 15 or 30 or 100 miles left. I just know where we where we're going. I know we're going to Santa Cruz and that's it. I just know we have some dynamite for them. And some real dynamite. It's explosive. Oh, well. Okay, a wind farm. Up there. They have become quite popular in many, many places around the world. And the competition now is, has become to what country can build the biggest wind farm and what state might build the biggest and all that. The biggest and the cheapest and the most power. I think we've been here before. That plaster and sunburst coastline mining is right next to it. 
plaster and sands is right there. Then we go up here and we'll have coal. Yeah. Coastline Mining. Coastline mining. You ordered some dynamite. I got it for you. Where do you want it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. We have to go over this. We can do this. There we go. Good work. Yeah, we got that one point five. And we upset it slightly. We're level ten now. That's good. We have distance, we have all that. Let's do high value cargo now. I do a long distance, then I do a high value, I think, from now on. That's... So... I think we need some more money on that. I think the money is in the high value car. Because this place here only got rocks and rocks and let's go to this place. We're not going to earn that much by doing so, but that's not the plan. The plan is not to earn a lot of money. The plan is to explore. It's easy if we back up to space here to get round with a truck. It's like, ah, uh, you can almost do it, but not quite. See? Then, ah. Yeah, it's not a lot of space here. Just to have a look, what is it we're carting around here? It's gravel. Yeah, I thought so. And the damage were only to the truck. And we're going 165 miles, and that's the. Last one, see if that. Because we'll just take this red, white, and blue truck and deliver this gravel 
because we can do that. We are skilled at delivery. As far as I remember, this here is uh, quite a busy place. So it's not one where we want to run straight out into the traffic. Nope, it's not. This is a place where we want to take our time. Still says, oh, I need to be careful. Oh, yeah, because I can feel the gravel here in this bed is pushing me a lot. It's pushing a lot of strain on this truck. It's not liking it a lot. Because it's probably a wee bit too heavy for it. A little bit too heavy towards what this truck can do and what the coupling is meant to do. But that's just how it goes. Just hope this will all be okay. And now it disappeared. But I think it's a little heavy. This truck. A trailer we are carrying. A little too heavy for this truck. But it's okay. We'll manage. And as said, this is not a run that will give any money it will be to visit a place where we haven't been and that's kind of the idea We can do this. I think. stay behind that lumber truck okay going to deliver this first then you can sleep if 
5,000 miles on the clock in this truck. It's just eating up the miles. Eat him, game up. Why are these? I'm probably getting up to speed here, and then we are being told to go into the weighing station. Come on. But we are going for fuel. <sighs> Let's get some fuel. It's sad to run out. So let's get some. We are just about to deliver this, and after this, this trucker is going to get some sleep because he needs it. So, one delivery and then sleep, and maybe a raise hamburger, but because they're advertising everywhere, so I need a raise hamburger. How does that taste? Is it a McDonald's light or what is it? If anybody knows what a Ray's hamburger is, then just write down a recipe and I'll make one or something. There probably is a Ray's hamburger joint somewhere. Easy to park from. Thank you. Ooh. Okay. So that is not enough. This the easy park, but oh. a lot of XP but that's okay that's okay we can live with that this was to visit Santa Cruz not to do anything else let's just have a look at what's the upgrades like oh hmm long chassis maybe and we get the sleeper and the platinum interior and for the Kenworth Yes, and diamond interior and platinum and vantage tan interior, okay, and the long chassis. So that's, that's interesting. 
But for now, I think my red, white, and blue truck will say good night because we are finding a truck stop and we are getting some sleep done. That's how it goes. So, thank you for watching. See you next time when we take a drive to. Who knows? But for now, sleep. Bye. See ya.